Hey guys, this is Max Katz with Apri.io. In this video, I want to show you how to use the newly updated Twilio plugin that uh, you can use to add SMS capability to your app. So let's start by creating a brand new app. And we'll call this Twilio app. Now you want to select the jQuery mobile uh, template and click Create. And again, we're going to use the uh, plugin, so everything is pretty much available out of the box. We just need to set up some API keys uh, for Twilio. So we got a new app, and now we're going to import the plugin, create new from plugin, and then right here, Twilio message API, and import. Now it's going to ask you if you want to change the start page, and we can say yes. And also there's a settings file that um, we want to open. Of course, you can open it always after. So this is how the settings file looks. But of course, you can also open it here. And the plugin allows you to send the message and then view the history. So we can open send message. Uh, this is the service. And then there are two pages. All right, so this is for sending. And then there's also a history. All right, so let's let's configure this. We're just there are a few things we need to do. Um, so first, we need to send um, the phone number. So when you sign up for a Twilio account, and you can sign up for a free account, you get a, a number. And then we're going to go here. This is the dashboard for sending a message. And then my number. You can look at the scroll command here. This is my number. This is my Twilio number, and I'm going to set it. In the phone number. So that's all you need to do. Now we're also going to set the account uh, ID and a token that Twilio provides. Um, but that information we're going to save on the server. And this is again to protect those numbers because you don't want to make them available on the client so no one has access to them, right? So to save them on the client, we are going to create a database. And then we're also going to create a secure proxy. Right, so let's create a new database and we'll call this Twilio App DB. And we're next we're going to create a new collection. So this is a cloud database, it's running in the cloud, it's available. Um, the database is available out of the box. And we'll call this credentials. That's a new collection or a table. Now we're going to create just two columns. First is the key. And then another collection is the key value. Right. Now we're going to add two rows. The first one is going to be the authorization string. We're going to set in just a second. And then the other one is the account set proxy. Okay. Now the account set proxy, again, we can get it from the Twilio dashboard. And this is the number right here. And of course, you want to set. Um, the one from your account. And now the authorization string, so we need to actually encode it and um, Twilio supports basic authorization. So what we're going to do is, now you want to, the token, again, this is this information you want to keep secure and we're going to copy this and we're going to need to encode it. So a quick way to do that is to go to the site base64encode.org and just um, paste the value and click encode. Right, and so you get this value, we're going to copy it back to our database and you want to say basic and then paste the value. So it's important we can switch to full screen. Uh, it's important that there is a space here, right, so make sure there is a space. Alright, so now um, we're saving the values in the database, so that means this value, this data is secure, no one has access to these values. Now we need to create a proxy. Basically, we're going to have the service use the proxy and then the proxy will connect, will get the information from the database. Let's go to secure proxy. And we're going to call this Twilio app proxy. And you want to click this option, use proxy and store sensitive data in the database. And then we're going to select the database we just created, the collection we just created, and then the key and the value, right? And then click Save. Okay. 
Um, now we have to go back to the app and we need to tell the services that we use, that we have to use the proxy. So first is the send message. And right here is the proxy. So we need to click refresh to get the updated list. And then this is the proxy. Okay. And then same thing for the other service. Um, so now there's also Twilio settings file, which we um, saw earlier. And this is how the uh, account set is going to be retrieved from a database. Right? So this is a placeholder is going to, and we connected the service to a proxy, and then the proxy knows where in the database these values are stored. So again, this is very secure because the values are stored on the server and they're never uh, available um, on the client. All right, so that's, um, that's basically it. And now we can actually start, we can uh, test the app. And then clicking the test button, All right, so this loaded the app, the first page, and there is a menu, and we can go to history. All right, and we can see, so these are the messages that I sent earlier today, and we can see these messages. So now, and this already means that the um, plugin works, or the app works, right, because we connected to Twilio API. But let's go to um, send a message, and we'll type phone number. And we'll say hello from Twilio plugin. And then we're going to click send. We can see the message was sent. And what I have here is I have my um, Android phone connected. And you can see the message that I just received hello from uh, Twilio plugin. All right, so this is actually a live message uh, that I sent. What I can also do, what you guys see here, is an app reader your tester, which allows to test the app on the device without having to install the app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the list so it shows the app that I just created. All right, and you can see Twilio app. I just tap the app and I click Run. Right, and now I can send a message basically from the app to myself. So we'll do same phone number. Say hello from appre.io app. And then we can click send. And you can see that I basically from the app, I'm sending a message to myself and then the app navigates uh, to the list. So it's kind of a, a cool way to test the app uh, where again, you're running the app on the phone and then actually sending uh, the message to, <clears throat> to yourself. All right, so this is basically it. And again, um, it's a, all this functionality is available out of the box via the plugin. Um, all you need to do is have a Twilio account, which is really simple, and then configure the account as I, as I showed you. And it really, literally takes just a few minutes uh, to do that. And it's again, it's important that everything is secure uh, and your information is not um, available, visible, all right? So again, definitely give this a try. Um, sign up for Opry.io. Opry.io also provides a free plan um, and you can try this plugin. And of course, you can add this capability to any other app that you're building that requires uh, SMS capability. Thanks for watching.